What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you for an ML Sports Take, brought to you by Stanley Law Offices and Welch and & Company Jewelers. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm glad somebody's smiling because that was brutal at the Riley Center this afternoon. An overtime loss for the Bonnies. Brutal, brutal loss. 83-81. to I thought the two halves were kind of different, right? Offensive efficiency lacking by both teams. They probably set basketball back about 100 years. Bonaventure was awful. I mean, the execution, the flow, the ball movement, and shots weren't falling. 24% from, from, from the field, you know, in the first half, and they shoot somewhere around 50 52 uh in the second um you know obviously venting i thought from start to finish was terrific um you know you were kind of waiting there in the second half when bonnie was down you know they were what down 13 i think with 338 to go and uh, they were down 18 at one point and banks made a big three and you said okay here it is he's gonna get going and then gw kept answering and then a ferocious comeback for saint bonaventure um but the problem was they could not contain Bishop the fourth and Adams. I mean, those two guys scored 53 combined points. Absolutely unbelievable. Bonaventure had four players in the starting lineup in double figures. I, you know, they got eight out of Farrell. Uh, bench was a little weak tonight. Rumpel, I know I, I heard some rumblings there on social media. People want Rumpel in there uh, over Luke. I don't know. Uh, Cairo Luke made the shot. You know, that final sequence was crazy in regulation where Banks drives down. I thought he was going to make that layup. He misses it, goes off the rim. Venning almost tips it back in. Uh, GW tips it back out. Luke catch, shoot, bang. Great concentration. He made that basket. You know, he's kind of a big game player when it's late, and that's kind of where you got to peel back a little bit trying to, you know, say, oh, we just want Rumpel in there no matter what. Uh, Mid-major basketball late in games, we saw Luke do it. We saw Banks do it at Holy Cross and, of course, St. Peter's respectively. Um, but then you go to overtime, and Bonaventure, again, miscues, um, and, and stunningly enough, stunningly enough, um, and by the way, that, that call that was GW fired at over half court, two players go up for it. Flowers, I believe was there for Bonnie, the big man for GW. I actually thought it went off of his hands. That was the call I had a problem with. I actually was not that mad at the Kyrell Luke foul on the three pointer, uh, towards the end of the game. And here's why. Yeah, he grazed his fingertips, but that wasn't why the ref called it. If you watch it a couple of times, Luke got him with the body, and I I, I think that's why the ref called it. And, and, and from that standpoint, I mean, it, it probably was a foul. Um, but Bonaventure got way too far back uh, in this game. Uh, you come all the way back like that, and then you get nipped. It's hard, but again, if you had taken care of business in the first half, you wouldn't have had a lot of problems. Uh, Bonnie went 9 for 30 from 3. Wasn't impressive. Wasn't awful. Uh, they got killed on the boards again. I mean, this team is just getting murdered on the boards. I mean, the weak side rebounds, the long rebounds, uh, the box outs, all this sort of stuff is just not working from a rebounding perspective. They got out-rebounded by 9, 42 to 33 in this game. Again, hat tip to Venning. Uh, hat tip to Daryl Banks. He got it going. He kept fighting. Um, you know, but the Bonnies are getting beat on the glass. They're getting beat in, in the execution department, and they got down too far today. Um, God, they made a great comeback, and it was amazing coming back from 18 and then 13 under four minutes, and I give them credit. But, again, you get that execution at the end of the game not working again. They went back to their first half ways, and it's just the way the cookie crumbles. But I was not upset at the Luke foul. I was upset. I thought the ball went out of bounds off G-dubs. I could be wrong, but here we are again with Bonaventure losing again. 13 and 15 now on the year, 7 and 8 in conference. I just don't think this team's good enough to make a run, um, you know, in the A-10 tournament. But duty calls, I got to run. Thank you to my guest, Quinn. Can you say hi, Quinn? Can you wave? Hi. Yeah, can you say go Bonas? Go bonus, good enough. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. We're getting near the end of the regular season here. And of course, it's all brought to you by Camilla's Golf Club and Stumble and Monkey Brewing Company. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.